Hello my friends, welcome to another video and this time around I'm gonna give you my uh, full review about the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus the 10th uh, smartphone in the Galaxy S lineup this is a device that I previously owned and uh, the first time that I had the S10 Plus right after the launch it was a terrific experience it was the worst experience that I had with a mobile device in my entire life a few months uh, into the future and I decided to purchase again the S10 Plus only to see if it um, behaves the same as the first time and uh, in this period I used the Huawei P30 Pro and also the OnePlus 7 Pro two great devices but um, I always wanted to see if uh, the S10 Plus uh, still has the issues that uh, plagued my first experience right after the official launch because I had a lot of problems with the first device this one comes in uh, prism blue as you can see the first one was in uh, prism black but the color doesn't matter too much but I had a lot of issues, uh, charging issues, uh, battery drain issues, uh, connectivity issues, the camera was uh, absolutely abysmal and also uh, overheating issues, um, performance issues and what not. It was a very very bad experience for me, it was the worst experience that I ever had with a mobile device as I said. But forwarding uh, into the future a few months uh, later roughly four months later i decided to to sell the oneplus 7 pro and go back and repurchase the s10 plus to see if uh, anything got fixed with uh, this device to see if uh, the problems or the issues that i encountered on the first experience remain the same and fortunately, I have to say it uh, very loud and clear, this device is simply amazing. In terms of battery life, in terms of screen, in terms of processing, in terms of uh, connectivity, in terms of camera quality, in terms of, uh, of uh, all the technologies that it has integrated inside. This is Samsung's uh, anniversary Galaxy S because um, they achieved a 10-year landmark so the S10 Plus came packed with all the features that you might need uh, these days on such a uh, mobile device let's start with the design because I said it in my Romanian review I really love the design of the S10 Plus it um, doesn't scream um, like the Huawei P30 Pro or uh, the Mate 20 Pro or the OnePlus 7 Pro, but still I consider it to be a very refined and very mature design which I highly appreciate on my smartphone. It's very nice, especially in this uh, prism blue color that looks uh, simply amazing and overall I love the design. It's a mature design, uh, Samsung has refined their uh, design and also the build quality is absolutely top notch this is the best build quality right now available on the market and uh, to my humble opinion i consider samsung to have the best uh, build quality uh, the choice of materials is also excellent you get corning gorilla glass 6 on the front corning gorilla glass 5 on the back you have a USB 3.1 uh, port, you have a headphone jack for uh, all your headphone needs, you have uh, a microphone, a secondary loudspeaker coupled with the one in the earpiece. On the left side you have the Bixby button, you have the volume rocker and on the right side you have the power button that sits uh, a bit uh, too high for my taste. And on top you have the SIM tray and uh, micro SD card slot and also another microphone. On the back you get uh, the whole camera setup with uh, the three lenses. You get a 16 megapixel ultra wide uh, sensor, you get a 12 megapixel uh, wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto sensor. 
Also on the front you have two front facing selfie cameras, a 10 megapixel uh, selfie camera with an uh, aperture of f1.9 uh, and a secondary camera for depth uh, which is 8 megapixel uh, in the megapixel count. Absolutely amazing results from the front facing cameras but also from the main camera setup. I have no issue so far with the camera quality. Pictures are really excellent and I do love the ultra wide lens because it has a 123 degrees angle of view which is simply amazing. Currently the largest one on the market. You get a 6.4 inches in diagonal display and this is uh, what they call it an infinity old display which um, at least until the launch of the Note 10, Note 10 Plus especially was considered to be the best on the market very very bright in uh, direct sunlight and uh, the only thing that uh, annoys me about this display is the uh, notch right here where the cameras the front facing cameras sit other than this i highly appreciate the display the high quality of the display this is a super amoled made by samsung and also uh, the multimedia experience is simply amazing on the screen except for this part right here that simply annoys me and I still consider this to be the worst uh, design option in uh, if you want in the whole history of smartphones I simply hate notches and uh, punch holes in the display inside we have the Exynos 9820 which is a 8 nanometer uh, processor this is an octa-core coupled with 8 gigabytes of RAM and also 128 gigabytes of internal storage but you have micro SD support so you can further uh, improve the storage very fast very powerful um, in every single task that I do on this device no matter that I take photos playing games uh, video editing, photo editing, it simply runs very very nice and I didn't really have any issues in terms of uh, battery life and um, battery overheating. The only moments that I've noticed some uh, overheating was when I was recording videos in uh, my car uh, outside there were 36-37 degrees Celsius inside the car there were uh, almost 50 degrees celsius so uh, after 24 minutes uh, it simply stopped uh, the video recording because the device overheated but that, that was the only scenario when this happened to me other than that everything simply flies on the s10 plus we also have a uh, 4100 uh, million power battery inside that gives me with my usage my specific usage which is uh, somewhere between uh, medium to heavy user uh, type of usage it gives me between 8 and 10 hours of screen on time this means that my phone is always connected to wi-fi it's always connected to bluetooth because it's um, connected with my gear s3 frontier and uh, when I'm not at home, it's always using um, mobile networks, uh, 4G for example. Taking a lot of pictures, taking a lot of videos, uh, photo editing, video editing, uh, a lot of social media and uh, whatnot, uh, checking my emails um, and so far. Excellent battery life on the S10 Plus. I have no issues so far and this considering my first experience with this device where um, if I would uh, take the phone from the charger uh, charged at 100% I would really and actually see discharging so fast uh, basically one minute would pass and 1% of the battery will disappear. I haven't seen something like this on any mobile device until the S10 Plus, the first S10 Plus that I, uh, that I bought and used. But this time around everything 
is flawless in terms of battery. Um, the only drawback and uh, my only complaint with this device in terms of battery is the recharging cycle. Uh, because Samsung is using uh, a fast charging at 15 uh, watt um, uh, per hour rate and that's actually really slow. I have to keep my device uh, connected two hours to the charger, to the wall charger in order to uh, fully recharge from 0 to 100 and this after using the um, Huawei P30 Pro, the OnePlus 7 Pro that were uh, recharging completely from 0 to 100 in about one hour one hour and 10 minutes with uh, their chargers but uh, this is my only complaint about the battery and this is the recharging cycle you also get uh, wireless charging still at uh, 15 watts and also you have uh, reverse wireless charging with an output of 5 watts which is double um, of what the Huawei P30 uh, Pro gives you because that one tops at uh, 2.5 watts so I do like um, the fact that it's um, using a faster wireless uh, reverse wireless recharging method and it simply helps me because I usually tend to, to leave home without my uh, Gear S3 Frontier charger and uh, I only have to enable um, power sharing from the settings as you can see right here and put my watch in the middle of the of the phone and it will, it will recharge my smartwatch and this is very convenient for me and it's very easy for me not uh, having to to take uh, a lot of extra accessories when I leave home very good battery very good um, um, battery life very powerful processor very well optimized the device is running one UI but uh, right now I have uh, Nova Launcher installed because this is my uh, my launcher of choice still I love one UI it's a lot uh, easier it's a lot simpler compared to TouchWiz or uh, Samsung experience prior to this it simply feels a lot snappier a lot better I would still uh, enjoy having uh, faster animations and transitions in One UI. This is my biggest complaint about One UI. I really like uh, Samsung to, to make the animations faster and also the transitions because they are still uh, quite slowly compared to OnePlus 7 Pro for example and even to Huawei uh, devices but that's the only gripe that I have with One UI other than that you have everything that you need in this smartphone every single thing that you can imagine uh, possible on a device uh, such as a smartphone you have it inside One UI I will not insist on uh, this um, feature or uh, I will not insist in um, talking too much about One UI because it's a very complex uh, matter and um, I highly encourage you to just simply take a look in the menus, in the settings and uh, you'll discover a lot of interesting things. For what it's worth, it's very easy to use. I really like it because they made it easier to be used with uh, one hand, especially because uh, devices have become bigger and bigger and um, especially on the S10 Plus. What else is there to say about the S10 Plus? Well, excellent camera experience. As I said, the front-facing selfie cameras are top-notch. They are uh, one of the best that I've seen on a uh, mobile device. And on the back, we have the main setup. Excellent results, both in uh, normal daylight, like uh, we are shooting right now, but also especially in nighttime where they uh, added and included a uh, night mode that you can see right here and it takes some really really great shots you also have live focus you have uh, also a pro mode if you want to tinker with the settings and uh, choose uh, whatever suits your needs and you also have um, 
hyperlapse, uh, super slow motion at uh, 960 fps. But what I have to say in uh, the camera department or uh, the overall camera experience is that pictures are simply amazing and also video is simply amazing. 4K at 60 fps without any, uh, how should I say, time, uh, time stamp if you want. You can record as long as you want, as long as you have free memory or battery in your phone. Also, you get uh, super steady shot at uh, 1080p and uh, 4K at uh, 30 FPS, which is, uh, in my honest opinion, the best video stabilization that I've seen on the market. And um, very important also is the fact that the stereo microphones included in the S10 Plus are gorgeous. The sound that you record while uh, video recording is simply amazing. I've seen that a lot of people don't talk about the microphones inside the smartphones and especially on the Samsung devices but uh, to my honest opinion if you want to have the best video recorded you also have to uh, be able to get the best audio from that device and this is what makes the S10 Plus a very very good or actually the best uh, device capable of video recording in 4K with uh, the best sound available on the market. And this is very important for me. You also have a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, video recording. You also have a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, picture taking. So the overall camera experience is nothing but great on the S10+. Plus. You also have uh, IP68 rating. Uh, which is great because this is uh, officially certified to water and dust resistance and um, I usually, especially in the summers, um, I usually take my, uh, my devices for a swim uh, to video record uh, in the water or taking photos so I highly appreciate that I have uh, IP68 rating on my device. Also, audio quality is absolutely amazing thanks to these uh, two speakers, one uh, found right here and one in the earpiece. They are very loud, they are very powerful, the sound is really nice and um, it's one of the best experiences on the market. You also get support for uh, Dolby Atmos and the speakers are tuned by AKG. Also in the box you're gonna find included a pair of AKG headphones, uh, in-ear headphones that are also excellent. Currently the best that you can get in a uh, box on the market with a uh, device like this. And uh, the overall audio experience is simply amazing both on uh, the loudspeakers but also with uh, in-ear headphones provided by Samsung. Call quality is another thing that I really like about the S10 Plus. This is uh, basically the device that, uh, that gave me the best call quality that I ever had on a mobile device. Um, everyone is hearing me loud and clear. The sound is rich, it's powerful and uh, I also hear um, the other person at the end of the call very very nice very loud very clear with uh, some rich uh, sound the experience is simply great in terms of connectivity you have everything that you want you have wi-fi uh, 6 uh, for example you have bluetooth 5.0 you have uh, lte you have uh, nfc you have uh, gps with uh, glonass you are covered on every single um, uh, aspect in the matter of connectivity. No issues so far with uh, connectivity on the S10 Plus. Again, considering the very bad experience that I had the first time. Right now, with uh, my second S10 Plus, I don't have any single issues in terms of connectivity. Um, it simply works flawlessly. Mobile networks, not an issue. Uh, signal strength, not an issue. 
um, Wi-Fi works absolutely amazing, connectivity works, uh, connectivity Bluetooth works simply great, especially when I'm connected to my uh, Gear 3 Frontier or my uh, wireless headphones. So um, it just does everything that it's supposed to do and it does it really, really well. What else there is to say about uh, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus? Well, um, as I said, there are a couple of drawbacks that uh, really annoy me. The first one is um, the punch hole in the screen. That's my biggest gripe with this device. And uh, in general, with uh, every single device that uh, introduced notches and uh, punch holes in the screen. Also, um, I don't really like the recharging of the battery time. Uh, it takes too long and um, I never understood why Samsung was uh, using and uh, considering using uh, Quick Charge uh, 2.0 on the S10 Plus. Everybody was expecting Quick Charge 3.0. But uh, if you want uh, faster charging, then you should go and buy the S10 5G variant of this device which uh, comes with a 25 watt uh, charger inside the box so it recharges faster and it also sports a higher capacity battery uh, 4500 million power battery compared to the 4100 million power battery inside the S10 Plus I really appreciate the fact that I have micro SD support I don't really care about uh, the headphone jack because I made the, the transition to wireless headphones a couple of years ago, so I have no uh, problems with them. Um, very nice audio quality, very nice call quality, excellent multimedia experience, very fast, um, very powerful processor. The thing is, Right now, on my second experience with the S10 Plus, I actually consider this device to be the best device that I ever used. I had a lot of issues last year with the S9 uh, and the S9 Plus. It was a terrific experience again, a very bad one. I had issues with uh, the S8 Plus uh, the year before, not with the S8, which was a great phone for me. I had issues with uh, the, S, the regular S7, but not with uh, the S7 Edge. Um, so in the past years I had a lot of issues with uh, Samsung devices and um, I'm using Samsung devices for almost uh, 12 or 13 years actually. I basically use the whole uh, Galaxy S lineup right from the first uh, till now. I use all the Note uh, series uh, smartphones and um, basically next week i'm gonna go and buy the note 10 plus and i'm gonna give this one uh, the s10 plus to my wife so um i could be considered a um, samsung fanboy but for that still in the past two or three years i had a lot of issues with their products my biggest gripe in general is that they are not uh, innovating as fast as uh, we would like probably with the consumers and um, they are still refining uh, the experience and also the products this isn't a bad thing but um, considering what other manufacturers are doing i was expecting for samsung to take some uh, some chances some risks and uh, be innovative as they were a couple of years ago. Still, the S10 Plus is an absolutely amazing device. It's been a really, really pleasant experience for me, considering my first experience with this device uh, about five months ago. And uh, right now, I can highly recommend the S10 Plus if you're looking for the best device out there on the market and especially if you don't want to go and buy the Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus mainly because those are more expensive but considering the regular Note 10 I think that this device has uh, just become a um, better or more suitable option for those who don't want to go and spend a lot more on the regular Note 10 especially because you get a lot of uh, features um, compared to that one 
you still retain the headphone jack you still have micro sd uh, support you have a uh, high resolution display compared to the regular note 10 so uh, you and you also get a bigger battery inside the s10 plus so um, if you can live without the s pen then uh, this is a best buy even now uh, compared to the regular note 10 but if you want a bigger display a bigger battery you actually use the s pen which i do use and uh, you just want to have the latest and the greatest from samsung then you should also try out the note 10 plus as i said this one i'm gonna give it to my wife i'm gonna go uh, next week and buy the note 10 plus and uh, i'm gonna make the switch but so far this was uh, this was one heck of an experience my second experience with the s10 plus and i am more than satisfied from what i got uh, from the s10 plus thank you so much for watching this video guys uh, as always see you in the next one and uh, basically i'm gonna see you when uh, i get my hands on the note 10 plus and uh, unbox it on the channel peace